Hey everyone, welcome to Winnie Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And today we'll be creating a simple poster design as well as on Photoshop. And I hope this tutorial will be helpful to improve your Photoshop skills. And a quick note, this PST file will be available on my Patreon. And if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And there is a lot to cover, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that go to file, click on new and I will just go by 11 over 11 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB and for this tutorial, I'll just keep the bitrate at 8 and let's click on create and right after that, let's create a solid and let's make it a little darker. So I'll just use it as a background and right after that, let's drag and drop this image right over here. Now let's keep it right over here and let's convert it as smart object. Control T, let's make it a little bigger, maybe something like that. And I'll just keep it right over here. All right, now let's create a new layer and go to the brush. And I will just go for uh, this brush. And if you wanna download the same brush pack, you can check on the description list below and let's change the color to pure white and let's add a stroke and let's change the rotation yep something like that and maybe let's change the rotation some more and let's decrease the brush size here we go and from here, let's change the rotation. Maybe something like that. And now let's increase the brush size just a bigger. Let's change some more. Yep, something like that. And now let's make a copy, Control J and Control T. And let's reverse it on the opposite side. And let's keep it right over here. And right click, let's click on warp and let's make it like a balls in the center. Yep, let's keep it something like that. You know what? Like let's make the main image a little smaller. So select this one, control T. Let's make it a slightly smaller. Let's keep it right over here. And now let's add a new layer and go to the brush again. And this time I'll just go for a general brush. And let's change the color to kind of darker color. And let's add a contact shadow right over here. Control T, let's squeeze it. And let's keep it maybe right over here. Yep. And let's drop down the opacity, just a little touch. And Control J, let's duplicate the shadow and let's move it on the other side. Let's keep it maybe right around here. All right. And now let's drag and drop this image over here. And let's keep it all the way to the top and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's drop down the opacity to maybe around like 38 39 i think this is looking pretty good and now let's uh, drag and drop another image right over here and let's keep it just above uh, just above this layer, this one, and let's create a clipping max and control T. Let's do some adjustment. Yep. Something like that. Let's do some color adjustment for this main layer. So select the layer, go to filter and let's go for camera raw filter. And from here, let's increase 
the clarity and let's increase the texture and from here let's increase a noise reduction and increase the color noise reduction too and yeah, let's click on ok and now let's add a color LUT so go over here click on color lookup and from here click on load and I'll just go to my cine LUT so select this one and click on load so if you are following my channel then you might have this LUT already and if you don't have this LUT check on the description list below so select this one and click on load so this is what we have now let's merge all the layer and make a copy so for that press ctrl shift alt and e and select this layer go to the filter and let's go for a camera raw filter and from here let's go over to the saturation tab and from here let's drop down the saturation for orange and let's increase the saturation for red and go to the luminance tab and let's drop down the luminance for red maybe just like so and from here let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture and let's increase the color noise reduction to and noise reduction to maybe something like that and let's click on ok now let's add some text so go over here let's add some text And now let's merge all this layer again so ctrl shift alt and e and let's go to the filter and let's apply a neural filter and from here let's click on style transfer and let's go for this one and from here let's drop down the brightness and let's click on preserve color and let's click on focus object and let's click on ok and from here let's change the blending mode to soft light and let's create a layer max and let's fill the layer max with black and let's go back to the brush and let's go for a general brush and with a white brush selected and let's get back some effects maybe right over here it just adds some kind of extra textures maybe right around here and maybe some maybe right over here all right now let's merge this layer again so ctrl shift alt and e and let's go to the filter and let's apply a gaussian blur just like so and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's create a layer max again and let's fill it with black and again the same thing let's go back to the brush change the brush color to white and and let's reveal that layer again maybe right over here and let's drop down the opacity just a little touch so just like so now that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and before signing up I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters and you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support and see you guys in the next video.